Andrew Lloyd Webber. Sure, you've had a few hits, but if you really want to go down in history, you need to make a musical about me! Oh, she is fabulous. I think this is a Broadway gal. Picture this. A young, plucky ingenue with dreams too big for life in a small cornfield. Doing impressions of the greats, hoping to be discovered. Then comes Act Two. It's a comedy of errors as I moved to the city and struggled to find my place in this business of show. The plot thickens. When I finally land the role I was born to play, and the city smiles with me as I shine like a king. Bravo! Bravo, Andy Cohen. You see, Lord, Lord Webber, I don't want to get carried away here, but I'm a smash hit waiting to happen. My people call yours and see. Being here on Andrew Lloyd Webber night is simply the best. Simply the best is a Tina Turner song. But it wasn't a straight shot to success. Right when my career was just taking off, a horrible accident led to a major setback. Oh, oh my God. I was petrified I would never be the same, let alone perform. But God had greater plans for me. I turned my anguish into an anthem, and before I knew it, oh, baby, I was back on my feet and swimming in supreme sorrow. I performed for princes and popes. And if I do say so myself, I'm just as big a legend as you are, Lord Lloyd Webber. <laughs> Stepping up into the spotlight at Andrew Lloyd Webber night feels a little out of my comfort zone. Because for much of my career, I've lived in the shadows of superstars. From Missy to Pharrell, and even David Blaine. A surfboard? Who was in a surfing movie? The glow of their talent made it hard for me to recognize my own. I was worried it'd never be my turn. But with 86 cents to my name, I booked a job that changed my life forever. I not only found my own pretty little spotlight, but gained the most magical fandom in the world. They've given me supernatural confidence. Honey, Jessica Alba? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm going to need that if I'm going to take the lead tonight. Places, everyone. <laughs>